Ladies and gentlemen, just over a year ago I brought out a video on beginner's tips on Assassin's Creed Rebellion. Now since then my experience in the game has obviously grown so much. The game has changed in so many different ways. Uh, the level cap's gone up, tier 5 gear's been introduced, the Animus Carousel, a logging calendar, Animus Challenges, so, so much has changed in the game. And plus that was one of my very first videos on the channel and Looking back at it now, I wouldn't even subscribe to myself. So what better way to do it than to introduce a brand new, fresh beginner's guide to help you grow your brotherhood level, your roster, and just tips that will help you just get a lot further in the game, a lot quicker and a lot easier. So first of all, we're going to go into the very first thing that I do want to talk about, and that is the legendary hang-up. Now, everybody who has got a brand new account or is playing an account keeps going on about legendaries you can keep clear region four with rare heroes five star rare heroes i'll put a video above my head now that is me clearing region four with five star rare heroes that are level 31 to uh, level 31s 24s so you don't need legendaries to get that far into the game they will eventually come and they are good heroes but just don't get hung up on them. Don't not farm rare heroes because you're constantly going for the legendary. The more rare heroes you get, the higher star that you get them, the faster you'll get through the game and you'll learn them legendary shards and epic shards a lot quicker by doing that. The second one is your daily challenges and objectives. So I've done all my objectives for the day, but a lot of them are level up a hero in the training room, you know, produce... Uh, some supplies, some codexes, rush a couple of missions. Now, most of this can be done overnight. You can obviously have a hero leveling up overnight. You wake up in the morning and collect it. The same with all your resources over here. You can have these running all through the night. Collect them. Daily challenge done. And then the rest are just like rush a couple of missions. Do a loot. Do two loot missions. Do this. Do that. Claim your free cube. Buy something from the daily selection. So it is very simple to get these done and the XP you get for it is very nice. It helps raise your brotherhood level faster. It gives you coins. It gives you uh, cube tokens, credits and just, yeah, materials. It just helps you just gain them resources for doing very little in the game. So I really, really do suggest that you make sure you get your daily objectives done. The other thing as well is the Animus Challenges. Now, these have drastically changed since I last done my last video. But as you can see, each one has six components. The rewards go up. So for me, being at level 50, I get a nice bunch of intel, some nice coins. At the minute, for this one, is going to be cube fragments for Murat. So that helps you get heroes quicker as well. So just make sure that you're doing your uh, your day these animus challenges. They last for normally four to three days, easily done. So just make sure you grind them out as well, and that will massively help you progress forward. Getting fragments, getting units, getting gold, and it will just help your account out so much. Right, the animus carousel. Now this is a new feature brought in, and if you watch an advert, you receive a you can receive a gift. And these are the gifts here. Now you can spin this 15 times a day and you will basically get everything in this carousel. Now, to me, there's not too much in there. But to a new player, to get free Alvero fragments for nothing, just for watching an advert, it's just priceless. It's, it's just easy fragments. And if you've got 10 minutes out of your day, honestly, it's a 30-second video you just watch watch the video i'm not going to watch it here because i don't know if i'll get like copy strike uh, copyright struck or something like that for shane and ever yeah you you watch it it spins and you will eventually get all of these rewards and that is not a bad amount of rewards to get for a day just for watching a few videos so you don't even have to watch them if you just click on it watch you can go and like you know i mean you can watch the telly then spin it 15 of them a day bang Helps grow your account, you know, helps you get some extra resources, helps you get some extra fragments, and you know, it's just easy stuff for nothing really. Right, the next thing I want to talk about is your free cubes and your cube token. 
Now, your free queue for a beginner is very, very, very good. You get drops for um for uh, heroes in these. You can get the odd epic one drop out of it as well. You get some resources, health potions, credits, coins, the lot. So like, I've got one here ready to go. Let's spin it. And what do I get? I mean, I get that. I mean, this obviously isn't going to help my account. But someone starting the game or someone fairly new, that's one hero fragment for opening a free cube. That's a health potion. I've started a new account and I know how valuable health potions are, especially if you want to spend a bit of time grinding the game or rushing some missions with some resources. Health potions are so key. So for a four, for a four hour cube, it's, it is very, very good. Also, you get your cube tokens. Now, I've got 12 out of 15. Do not hoard these, whatever you do, because you need every hero fragment you can get. And by holding these, you're just delaying what could be a three-star Alvero, or three-star Yusuf, or four-star Georgios, or Beatrice. So please, just when you get these, just open them, because the sooner you can max out your heroes, the faster your account will grow because then you get excess fragments that you can spend in a daily selection like this, converting loads. And then if you've got them, you can buy one of your favourite heroes if they happen to be in the shop that day. So yeah, do not hold them cubes. Right, last but not least is the Helix Rift event. Now I've had people come into my streams and on videos asking me like, I'm low level, should I bother? always do the helix rift event now the helix rift event will help you in so many ways because one only certain heroes can be obtained through helix rift events so to so for example this one's going to be alexis and cassandra you can only get their fragments through this event or a cube that pops up i think there are cassandra cubes and alexis cubes but again you only earn the fragments of them by doing a helix rift event now not only do you get that, but you get milestone rewards and some of it's gold, potions, cube tokens, any resource you can get in this game, just do it. It doesn't matter if you haven't got a sync bonus, just go as far as you can go, farm that mission, get them points, and it just helps your account grow. It really, really does. Anything you can do, for any resources, just do it. There's a couple of little honourable mentions as well I want to give a shout out to. The Animus Boost as well. This is now this runs Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. So today being Monday when I'm recording this, it's 25% uh, extra on all codexes. It just saves you a couple of training codexes if you're looking to uh, train a hero up. Um, no, sorry, you get extra from standard missions, sorry. Uh, that's Wednesday. And then uh, Tuesday's your loot missions... And then Wednesday's your extra XP. And then uh, number uh, on Thursday is your crafting mission. So these are now actually going on twice a day for eight hours. So uh, from the minute you log in, if you log in during that eight hour window, you get it for eight hours. It used to be once, uh, twice a day for an hour. So it'd be two hours a day. But obviously due to the current pandemic and everything that's going on, they've extended the hours. Uh, that... And also, do not forget your login calendar. Now, Flora is the main hero in this calendar. She's a very decent hero. And if you've not long started off an account, and you log in every day, you will at least get her at one star. Now, if you're a new account and you've got an epic at one star after your first couple of weeks of playing, that's good news. And it's really going to help you progress through your account. So... Just make sure you do your daily logins, do your daily objectives. If you do what I've said in this video, you'll have a good time, you'll enjoy the game, you'll get some nice rewards and your account will grow just at a nice, nice rate. So yeah, please, if you are new, please subscribe or consider it. Hit that like button. I really hope this helps you in 2020. Take care and have a fantastic day. Good night, Assassins.